Hi everyone, welcome back to your favorite YouTube channel, NB Infotech. Today, we're going to install Parrot OS, a secure and private operating system designed for penetration testers, security researchers, and privacy conscious users. Through this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of installing Parrot OS step by step. Let's download the ISO image from the Parrot OS website. There is a link to a web page in the description. You can choose from various categories like Live, Virtual, IoT, Docker, Debian Conversion Script, and WSL. Parrot OS mainly comes with two editions. First is Security Edition, and second is Home Edition. We'll go with Security Edition ISO image. Now, let's get the VM ready for installation. I'm installing using a VMware workstation. Oracle VirtualBox is also available for use. Make sure you follow the instructions exactly as they are described in the video. After attaching the ISO image, select the guest operating system as Linux and set the version as Ubuntu or Debian. Make sure to do it as shown. Provide a name to your virtual machine and set the location for VM creation. Specify the disk capacity. I am allocating 30 gigs. Then customize the hardware resources. Requirements, recommendation is. Processor should be minimum dual core CPU. From graphics perspective, no graphical acceleration required. Minimum memory capacity is one gig of RAM. And storage disk minimum requirement is 16 gigs. H, here's the installation process. Follow along and ask questions in the comments if you get stuck. It will take some time to load the operating system, up to 15 to 20 minutes as per your system performance. Parrot OS is based on top of Debian, the most advanced and recognized universal operating system that can run anywhere. From your laptop to your phone, the Parrot core can be executed on a huge range of environments, including servers, IoT boards, cloud containers like Docker and Podman, and more. Select language, keyboard layout, time zone, you can perform manual partitioning for available storage disk. Select bootloader location to master boot record MBR. It is widely supported by VMware and other virtualization platforms. MBR is easier to configure and manage compared to other bootloader locations. MBR allows for multiple operating systems to coexist on the same virtual disk. Keeping the bootloader separate from the system partition helps prevent accidental formatting or deletion of the bootloader. MBR allows for easier dual boot or multi-boot configurations. After creating a user account and selecting a strong password for security, click Install. Depending on the speed and setup of your machine, it will take some time.
Once installation succeeded, then the system will reboot. If you are connected to the internet, it will ask you to update the operating system. This is the first thing that you should be done on priority because updating system will automatically mitigate any known vulnerabilities and upgrades the packages. You can do this manually by running upgrade command as well. We're almost done here. Now tell me what additional tools will you install first? Share your favorites. That's it. You now have Parrot OS up and running. What do you think of Parrot OS? Share your first impressions. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more cybersecurity content. Thanks for watching NB Infotech. Join us next time for more exciting cybersecurity tutorials and reviews. If you like this video, then give a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel NB Infotech and press the bell icon to receive the notification whenever we upload a new video. In the comment, suggest to us more antivirus tests that you want. Till the time take care. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.